What a day we had yesterday. High temperatures soared into those mid 80s here all around the Great Lakes region while the nearly 100 degrees was reached into St. Louis. So here for us, high of 85 degrees into Green Bay, Appleton coming in at 82. And we saw some extreme storms last night, didn't we? Down into Belgium, a water spout was actually reported happening there. We got some heavy rain anywhere from a half an inch to nearly over an inch into those areas areas in blue headed right through the Lake Winnebago area. Also hail being reported trees knocked down and power outages into Manitowoc from some of those wind gusts that yes reached up to about 50 miles per hour. So behind that system we're seeing the cold air sinking in really feeling the difference off into Iowa and South Dakota as we're all waking up now into those mid 60s. 64 right now into Green Bay 62 into Oshkosh, Ephraim and Pembine this morning. Morning. Dew points into the upper 50s to low 60s. They are very comfortable and they're going to stay that way throughout the day today. Winds out of the west right now up to 15 miles per hour, staying on the breezy side of things, especially through this morning. Gusts up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. But then after one o'clock, those winds switch to off the lake and out of the east. So things will be changing throughout this afternoon. So we're going to start the day with sunshine, a mix of sun and clouds. We will see storm chances, so not a good day to head to the beach, especially with those strong rip currents and bigger waves as well. I'd avoid that area. So right now, beautiful sunshine throughout the Fox Valley, Door County. A few clouds building into Clintonville, Mountain, Wausau area. You can see that's coming off of Lake Superior as this entire system kind of wraps around the Great Lakes area, giving us some lake effect showers throughout some places. Now the cold front has moved its way all the way down into Missouri and Nebraska. Two high pressure systems are going to slide in here for us this morning, but then behind it, this cold Cold front tail starts to drop down and will fire up those storm chances. We're actually at a marginal risk into Langley, Menominee, Shawano, Wapaka for them to turn strong to severe, while the rest of us just have that thunderstorm chance. You can see the East Coast has a much higher risk as well. So when is this going to happen? Well, after 1 p.m., you got to keep your eyes to the sky. Mainly after 3 p.m., I think the storms, the stronger ones, are going to start to fire up and roll on through. This will all clear on out of here by 10 p.m. We'll have a much calmer night, so you can and rest your head not worrying about large hail or damaging wind gusts up to about 60 miles per hour that are potentially possible. We are looking though at another half an inch to another inch of rainfall. Some localized flash flooding could occur. And then as we go through tomorrow and into the rest of the midweek, high pressure moves in and a lot of sunshine there for us. So a few clouds tomorrow morning clear on out. A nice beautiful day with a nice northeast breeze will keep us on the dry side of things. You can say goodbye to that humidity. It's going to leave us alone for the next few days and keep us uncomfortable and also cooler than average. So right now you're headed out the door. Appleton at 61 degrees. It's bright and beautiful outside. Grab those sunglasses. Sunsets at 836. Highs climbing to the mid to upper 70s to low 80s. Storms tonight but wind down overnight as we fall down into those mid to upper 50s and tomorrow on the cooler side of things crisp into those low to mid 70s. We stay cooler for your Thursday. Mostly sunny, bright and beautiful. And then as we cruise through the rest of this weekend, that's when those showers and storms push back in. I hate the timing of it right on the weekends. If you had outdoor plans, I'd hold off until Sunday. I think that's your best bet for the weekend to be outside soaking up some sunshine. All right, definitely good to keep in mind, yes. Brittany. Thanks so much.